Very good morning. Now, uh, there's a there's a lot of news on this. So here's my spin. Okay. Now, Dan Ashworth. When we went to get Dan Ashworth, we followed procedure. He was put on garden leave and Newcastle bought him out of his contract. The other club was happy. We were happy. And it really goes strange afterwards. And here's the thing, I've just been I've just shared a post and the post is from one of the Manchester United channels where he's talking about it. But what he also mentions is the fact that there was communication with somebody who was at Manchester City. So you've got two people in the conversation. One at Newcastle United and the other one who is at City. So they're both nowhere near Manchester United. Here's the bizarre thing. We all saw on the news, on Sky Sports News, etc., that um, there was a tapping up. There was, uh, this had gone on for months and months and months, where Sir Jim Ratcliffe wanted to rebuild. Now, yeah, he paid 27% stake. He didn't want to, didn't want to buy outright like the person from Abu Dhabi. Now, while Dan Ashworth was up at Newcastle, um, his rule was to find future superstars. And yet, some of them who we know today, Botman, uh, Bruno, etc. didn't come through him. It's well documented. So what actual work he did, well, only those upstairs at Newcastle United will know that. Because we're not privy to such information. But here's the thing. This conversation between two people in positions of power talking about another role elsewhere has caused a bit of a, a mess and upset. And I honestly think this at the end of the day. Is the grass greener on the other side. And if you're getting paid a good pay packet, why jump ship? You see, our club, we got to a high position, top four. That meant we could play in the Champions League. That's the highest league. But I, I, I can't bend my head around this fact that at the minute 
Dan Ashworth wants to take Newcastle to a court of arbitration saying he was sacked. Well, you're, you're either placed on gardening leave or it's your P45. Unless it's different in football. But that's how I look at it. And as I've just said to the the, the Manchester United channel, well, surely, if, he, if he's claiming he's been sacked, then surely it would be Monday morning after that week, you'd be ringing up Sir Jim to say it. What's available? But no, it's a negotiation because obviously we said to Sky Sports, etc., BBC, ITV, and Sky that we were placing him on gardening leave. And like I say, Sir James come back saying, Oh, why should somebody be put on gardening leave? Well, that's the the touchy bit because is it garden and leave or was he sacked? Which is it? And it's so bizarre. Uh, now I do know we are still searching for director of sport and some people have fell by the wayside I think myself to be honest uh, Maldini I think yeah Maldini I could be wrong but for Dan Ashworth to, to go to this tribunal what's he playing at? What really is he playing at? Because he's turning around in the, the, the past, what, 24, 48 hours? I was sacked. And that's the bit doesn't sit well with me. Because if you're sacked, then the next Monday, well, you'd be in another job, another role. So, to you good people out there, what do you say? Because, to be honest, I think he's been caught with his pants down and he's trying to go down the road of this tribunal to wiggle out of a contract. And the thing you've got to remember is this. <coughs> Wiggling out of a contract. Well, he hasn't done it the right way. You know, talking to somebody who, let's be honest, wasn't even at Manchester United. He was at City. And they're both talking about a, another job so at this moment in time everything is up in the air and it, it's dragging the name of our club down as well at the same time because he is claiming now I was sacked so what's your opinion? Let me know. And I think the court of arbitration will think the same thing. Anyway, thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like what I'm saying. And please do subscribe and share the good word. The next video 
here's something completely different. Thank you.